Greetings, scaling up excellence without screwing up class. Uh, this is uh, my optional week one video describing my experience with a cluster fug. Uh, what I'd like to talk about today is my experience with uh, what's called the Peter Principle. Uh, what I noticed in the past uh, experience and also observations in other roles is uh, what happens is when you get a highly talented individual who produces a lot in an individual role uh, such as a sales role and that person gets promoted to manage a broader team uh, typically uh, that happens based on incentives uh, the hierarchy decides it's the best thing to keep a person uh, but my experience uh, tells me that there's a lot of uh, weaknesses and, and negative outcomes with that approach without thinking through it properly. Um, so as I touched on, you know, this, this happens um, uh, typically under the illusion that the unit will keep up the same production after that person gets promoted. Um, it happens um, with the impatience of trying to keep up profits. Uh, trying to keep up results without thinking, hey, you know, with that newly promoted manager, what's going to happen to that region or set of clients? Uh, is the team underneath that newly hired manager going to be uh, engaged? Are they going to operate on the, under the same set of principles? Um, does that newly hired manager actually understand uh, the operating rhythm of that team? My experience was that that didn't happen. Um, for a lot of reasons. One, this manager wasn't even in the office as this supporting team. So it was from a regional office. So, you know, uh, moreover, you know, um, the incompetence part of it is, uh, you know, what the skill sets required to be uh, this new leader is typically very different than what the skills required to be a highly productive individual. You know, management requires you know engaging the team to actively you know allow them to create their best work versus relying solely on yourself you have to be an enabler you have to create the context of the team you have to understand what motivates the team and these are typically skills that aren't learned being a highly individual producer in a transaction role uh, such as sales uh, investment banking roles where you're doing a lot of deals uh, versus managing others and understanding what the best practices are and how that team is actually supporting you. So uh, that's really the main principle I wanted to talk about today. Um, my experience didn't lead to a debacle, but as I touched on, the uh, illusion, impatience, and competence factors of a clusterfug were exhibited. Um, so. What are some questions to think about to help prevent this sort of thing? Is uh, management should, should ask, you know, what are the benefits and weaknesses of promoting a talented individual into a team manager role? Um, how will that person adjust to the newly demanded skills and responsibilities? Can these be easily learned? Does the person want to learn them? How can, uh, our third question is, how will the company account for all the client relationships that need to be handled by a new person? Uh, will they hire someone new? Uh, will they have the new manager play a hybrid role and try to do both roles? Typically that will lead to um, poor outcomes if a manager doesn't prioritize one role or the other and tries to maintain both. Uh, and then another question would be, um, does the underlying team feel like this leader is going to help the team succeed? Uh, do they want to follow this leader? Uh, sometimes it, they don't have a choice, but um, you know, with a new millennial age and wanting more autonomy and more purpose in their work, um, the hierarchical decisions of you know signing people bosses um, is more challenging based on a number of new forces. So that, there you have it. Um, I don't want to go too long, but that is essentially my clusterfug 
managing promotions with re understanding the Peter principle and the implications of the team um, will help you guide to a you know better performance in the future. Thanks for listening.